Nathan Usman. Nathan, congratulations. Thank you. On a, I won't say fantastic performance, but I'll say fantastic result. Is that fair? Yeah, correct. You know, it wasn't the best performance by any stretch of imagination. You know, I came out and I was awful. To be fair, you know, seven three down. I was playing. I just wasn't playing well. Um, but you know, I dug deep again. You know, that's what I always do. I always until that last start in the double. I battled on, and I battled on, and it got the result. One great, but, but I'm, I'm in prison next round. What's going through your head at 7-3 down? What are you doing? <laughs> to be fair, you know, I was practicing, you know, brilliant backstage. Me and Chiesa were playing. We, we, I was playing brilliant, and I, I don't know what happened on that stage. It wasn't good, uh, but I went backstage at the break. The break helped me massively tonight. I composed myself and said, you know, try and break the throw, hold your throw. There's only two legs in it, and um, you know I, I think it a, a crucial double eight. I think which I couldn't see much of the the bed, and he hit it, and uh, I think for me that gave me the confidence to go on and win the game. After the Worlds, yeah. was it important for you to back that up so people yeah. couldn't say Massive. it was a fluke? And now you're into the quarterfinals of another ranking major. That must mean a lot to you. It does. It's so many people in the past, so many players in the past have had good runs at the Worlds and never backed it up and then she's kind of fall off the radar and I didn't want that to happen to me and I know how good I believe in myself so much um, and you know so far I think I've had six pro tours, I've had a semi-final, I've had a quarter-final, you know I beat Van Gerwen for the first time in my career which was massive for me um, and yeah it was you know I was about to kick on. I, I didn't want people to think that I had a lucky draw and you know everything was against me um, so yeah, it, 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 it's big for me to, to kick on now. As well, you said the world changed your life yeah. financially as well. Now, with that money that you won there and here, you're into the top 32 in the world for the first yeah. time as well. I know you were, that was your next goal and yeah. your milestone. That should open so many doors for yourself now. Yeah, it, it's not even the finance side for me. It was, I said it earlier on in an interview, it's, um, I used to go into to darts matches thinking I've got to play my top game to, to beat these players. Whereas now I feel that the players that I'm playing need to play their top game to beat me. And it's a completely different mentality. Since the world, my, my mindset, uh, my mentality on the game of darts has changed massively. Um, but yeah, you know, this year was big big push for the 32, which I'm now in. Um, just keep progressing, you know, it's I've got a long career ahead of me, hopefully, fingers crossed, you know, just keep progressing slowly. As well, with these TV performances, are you hoping that it may open some World Series doors? Obviously you've got a Premier League contender place to look forward to as well. There's a lot of good things in your life for darts at the moment. Yeah, you know, if, if, if that opportunity arises, you know, brilliant, you know, it's, I, I see myself as a bit of a character, you know, I'm not one of the quiet guys, you know, I, I try to give a bit on stage, which is what the, what the fans want. Um, End of the day, if I get a World Series spot, brilliant. If not, you know, I'm still playing, I'm playing for my ranking. Um, and, you know, even if I don't get invited, one day I'll be in that spot by right. What was it like to find out that you're going to be a contender in so, the Premier League as well? Absolutely brilliant. You know, we, I, I was, I was practising uh, with my manager and uh, I actually got a call off Graham and he, he said, what's your manager's email? So. My manager then, about five minutes later, came in jumping around saying, you know, you're in the Premier League, and I'm like, nah, you're not. I mean, no, Gabby's pulled out, you know, you got a night, and it's amazing. You know, I've watched that as a fan, you know, and that, the Premier League, you know, it's the pinnacle of the, of the sport, you know. I played at the World, got to the semi-final, which for me was amazing, you know, best experience of my life, and now I play in front of 10, 12,000 people, show what I can do, it's a rematch of the semi-final, and it, I know it'll be a great game. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I was buzzing to get that, that call. Nathan, congratulations Thank you on very tonight much. and all the best tomorrow, mate. Pleasure.